I've just done blown the whistle. Literally blown the whistle because I've not done that for ages. So I was just testing below. Anyways, he come back to us. I want to get in on that. So I'm going to try if Blue drifts away because it's a fun game. Let's see if we can get um, Pippa to respond as that. No, just are. Good. Good. So in order to teach the whistle, so as you can see, Blue knows it, so in order to teach it to Tucker, what I do, I blow it as soon as he looks at me, I offer the biscuit. Oh. So you see, as soon as he blew, uh, blew it, he stopped and looked, and I already had my hand down with the treat in it ready. I wasn't ready with um, Bruce's big treat, but you get the idea. Watch a puppy when he drifts away. He's just having a little wee. Good. And because I've got the whistle in my mouth and the phone in one hand, and um, the treat in the other, obviously I'm not able to say goodbye as he's coming to me but because I've got my hand out with the treat in it, that's that's his reward, he knows anyway I'll do it without uh, the treat in Get by! Oops, right. So they both know that gesture means come back to me Right. So when you're teaching anything, you do it a few times in the beginning, but try not to do it all within like the first 10 minutes. Do it over the course of your walk. So like but, um, Blue knows this, so I have to give him time to drift away. And it's the puppy I'm focusing on. Blue's staying close because there's a person up front and again he knows what to drift to. Blue's actually trying to take my hand off as he eats the treats, so I'll have to just fix that. You see how he's snatching? That's why I positioned him into a sit. I'm not having him snatching the up when they snatch. I don't want the dog's teeth touching you for any reason.